I'm Skip Elsheimer. Uh, I've been living in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, and in this place for 10 years. And this is where I maintain the AV Geeks Educational Film Library. So let's take a look. Our fringe case, Marion Ellsworth. She seems to qualify for acceptance by the clique, though somehow she hasn't quite made it. But let's watch these teenagers in action. I wish I knew how to be friendly, like Susie. I wish I wasn't so shy. If she's asked Ben, she's sure to ask me. Her parents don't even know his parents. And he lives in that slummy part of town. He put his tray down carefully, pulled out his chair quietly, and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. He more than likely run the risk of an unpredictable and unpleasant bummer. educational films for about five years. Um, most of them come from the state's Department of Human Resources, uh, from school systems, uh, a lot of the health departments. Have they replaced it with videotape? They have not replaced the vast majority of these with videotape. Um, it seems like most people don't go to the library to, to check out uh, these types of films anymore. You hear somebody, somebody say, oh my God, you know, like, this is amazing. I saw this. I never thought I would see this again. And this is part of their subconscious. Hey, hey, on. That one is, that? Am I getting sound? How's that? No, not yeah, really. It's... I think you really trip over the cable. You had some. Films about the terrible things that young children do when left to their own devices. Boy, how are you different? Boy, it sure does. And I thought it was funny to see how, um, how women were supposed to act. Like in the 50s. No, not even the boys Jenny has parked with want to be seen with her in school or elsewhere. Is it because they like the way she looks and dresses? Because she doesn't date a different boy every night? Park on isolated roads? And I guess I'm really into social diseases, and it's always good to come see the films about those diseases at Skip's, Skip's Place. Headlights. Those are ugly words to young Timmy Atkins. He's feeling anxious, a little ashamed. My favorite health film has always been 1159, One Minute to Choose, because when we were kids in junior high, we all really wanted to see the stomach being pumped to the guy who just OD'd on heroin. And then the pills, and then they wanted to give me acid. <laughs> the drivers at films that people remember because they are so very, very, very gory. There's quite a few of those films. The one I have is called Wheels of Tragedy. Uh, there's Signal, uh, Signal 30. There is uh, Red Asphalt, Last Prom. There's a whole slew of them. They're very gory. Uh, and they were shown all over the place. My father saw them in the art uh, when he was in the Navy uh, back in the 60s. And I had a friend who saw them like five years ago. Titles in the educational biz are ones that have celebrities in them that have gone on, that either were famous at one point um, and did this for whatever reason, or this was before they were famous. We die of heart disease at a rate higher than any other nation on earth, except one, Finland, high scoring Finland. Well, I think I could probably deliver a baby because I have quite a few films on how to deliver a baby. Wait, yeah. and hold on I, might, I might regret that, saying that now, having it broadcast somewhere. I'll be in an elevator somewhere and someone's going to give birth. A great thing about being an AV geek in high school or in grade school is you get a hall pass and you can roam around the halls and goof off um, getting whatever you need for your teacher. So there's a lot of power in being an AV geek. Turn the lights off. Well, I'm like borderline AV geek. I don't really consider myself an AV geek, but I'm, I'm getting there. 
Wake County has um, just recently uh, disposed of all their 16 millimeter films um, as of 1997. So we are completely uh, VCR, which unfortunately a lot of the 16 millimeter films haven't been replaced with uh, VHS. So we're missing a lot of good quality filmmaking that took place um, before uh, VCRs were popular. One of the things that's, that's happened is that um, uh, teachers tape stuff off of off of public television or off of like the learning channel uh, things like that that must have higher production values. those do have higher production values but those were not films that were originally um, intended for the classroom and these other films were intended for the classroom so they address they're aimed at the specific audience um, although that audience is you know was an audience in the 50s um, at least it's more focused whereas um, some of the documentaries that you'll see on these educational channels are not, they're aimed towards adults, or they're aimed towards a general audience, um, or they're just kind of exploitive. I think there is a difference. Um, there has been uh, times when I've shown a particular uh, VHS tape in the classroom, and I had to uh, kind of edit and fast forward through some things because I didn't necessarily think they were appropriate. When I show the films here at my house, uh, but also when I show them on the road, uh, when I go to a gallery or a club and I show them, I found that there is an element of nostalgia there in having uh, a projector that's in the same room as the people that are watching it, and they see me thread the, the, the film and I talk between films. Uh, it's very, it brings a lot of people back to school. Um, because when the normal film experience is you go to a theater and the projector is in another room entirely. You can't hear it, you don't see it, you know, and that's the idea is you don't, when you go see a feature film, you don't want to worry about what's running the film. You want to see the film. Well, when I do a show, um, that's all part of the experience is hearing the projector. Um, occasionally the projector will, will stop or there'll be sprocket damage or the film might burn, um, you know, heaven forbid. Um, but that's all part of the experience is people really get into that. So they, they like, the, the films are not of the best quality because teachers weren't always educated on how to to show educational films, but um, it's all part of the experience, the bad sprockets, the, the jumpy frames, all that. I want to collect, keep collecting films and I want to keep showing them uh, to the public, uh, showing them being the most important part. And if I don't do it, then who is going to do it? I mean, these films would end up in a dumpster somewhere. Stop it and start it again.